This new video shows the police struggle moments after Jose Albert Lizarraga Garcia was detained by Indio police. Multiple officers seen working to restrain him. Garcia is heard gasping <laughs> and saying he can't breathe. <laughs> I am trying my best to stay strong. Um, it's been very tough, um, especially to watch the videos and to see it happen. Tiana Lizarraga is Garcia's daughter. At a vigil Wednesday night in his honor, she said she's struggled seeing the videos sweeping social media. I want to make sure that no one ever has to go through this ever again in their lives. No one should. She disputes the police accusation that her dad was under the influence and blames their handling of the arrest for his death. In particular, their use of a spit hood seen covering his head. It's meant to protect police from infectious diseases, and police say it doesn't restrict breathing. They had said that it was for COVID protocols, um, but meanwhile, I would say probably two to three officers, uh, they weren't wearing masks. Her lawyer says Garcia was choked to death by police. Once again, we hear those infamous words, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. It still exists and persists. It happened last week right here in this town. They allege those officers cost Lizaraga her father, snatching too soon the life of the grandpa to the baby girl she's expecting in just a few months. She's not going to be able to meet her grandfather. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Now they're setting out to hold the officers and police department accountable. To see that happen to him, it, it completely breaks my heart. And the family is planning to file a lawsuit within the coming days. Indio police tonight couldn't comment directly on those videos, citing the ongoing investigation. But a spokesperson tells us those three officers who were initially placed on administrative leave are back on duty tonight. Indio police department is also expecting to release the body camera footage, as well as those 911 recordings of this incident within the coming week.